Hey guys, Martin Nicholas here, doing another uh, in the bag video. These are your, this is my primary set of clubs, uh, the ones that I used to play uh, pretty much all the time here in Scotland. Um, we'll start off with the wedges. They're the 2009, uh, by the way, everything's the, the original 2009 uh, Victory Red series. Uh, Victory Red Black Oxide wedges, uh, sort of with the rusting finish. And uh, they've, they've worked really well, stopped the ball really quickly. Um, they go, if you've got really soft cover balls, they chew through the balls like crazy. Um, I like the rusting finish as well, um, so that's my personal view on that. So I've got wedge wise, I've got a 60 degree with 10 bounce, uh, sandwich 56 degree with 14 bounce, uh, a gap wedge, attack wedge, uh, 52 degrees with 10 degrees of bounce, and uh, basically I prefer having three wedges. Um, four wedges if you count the pitching wedge, uh, just because it sort of fills that sort of uh, in the scoring zone. It fills that uh, distance gap between the pitching wedge and the sand wedge, and gives you more chances to uh, attack the pin from certain distances. Uh, moving up to the iron, starting with the pitching wedge, it's the uh, Victory Red Tiger Woods Blade, 2009. Um, they're still shiny, which is what I like about them. Uh, they've kept their look and uh, thin top line as well. Um, I get put off by really thick top lines. Um, so it makes it easy to shape the ball and you know, you can change uh, trajectory and everything uh, just by placement and everything uh, of the ball. So they do their job and they look really nice. Uh, six iron to three iron is the Nike Victory Red Split Cavity. Uh, sort of Slightly, you know, bladeish look, and it looks, you know, better player's iron, uh, which is what I like. Not too much offset, because uh, those are my two pet peeves: are thick top lines and a lot of offset, make me hit bad shots for some reason. Uh, so it's a, it's a good good looking iron, and uh, just sort of between six to three iron, I chose these be for uh, more forgiveness, you know, uh, just easier to hit, and. Uh, if pros are using split cavities, you know why doesn't why shouldn't the weekend golfer take adv uh, advantage of the uh, technology there? Um, there's nothing wrong with having split cavity. Uh, let's move up to the woods. I've got a five wood and a three wood. Uh, five wood's a 19 degree, a three wood's a 15 degree, and they're both set to open uh, on the straight fit. So they sit quite, they sit very open at address. Um, I like this. Um, I hate closed club faces. Again, offset. Any sort of closed offset puts me off, and I hook the ball really badly because uh, I feel it's going to go left. So if you slice, then that's good. Um, it helps you sort of get that. Oh, it's going to go left. Thoughts into your head, and you swing with it. And the same for the driver. Nine and a half degree stiff. Uh, by the way, it's stiffed on stiff shafts on all my uh, clubs. Uh, Again, set to open. Uh, this is a slightly, it's, I don't think it's 460, it's 440 cc, it's slightly smaller than 9.5. I think as you go to 10.5, it's 460. But again, uh, they're nice clubs. Really like them. I've only started thinking about uh, upgrading them this year. Uh, going for the new, either the Nike VR Pro uh, combo set with uh, either a VR Limited or VR Pro Limited or the VRS driver. Uh, I, I would obviously do a fitting for them. Ah, can't forget the most important club again. The putter. Got the head cover over that. Odyssey number nine. White hot. So it's a good putter. Um, I like heel shafted putters, but I'm actually looking at buying a uh, Nike Method. Uh, number one, I've been trying them out and sort of really like the uh, the roll and the feel on the new putters, but this one's really nice. Um, just sort of short, helps me get eyes above the ball and, and sort of do the, get a nice uh, sort of, you know, into and in, uh, path on the swing. Um, and I find it closes a lot quicker, uh, so I can get straighter shots with this one. Um, but I do want to upgrade the putter if anything. That's the main thing. That's uh, the one thing that's going to be swapped out really soon. Uh, around the bag, these things. 
These are alignment aids, and I think most people should have them because they come in really handy when you go to the range, just drop them down and, you know, alignment is a big thing of, you know, it's going to help where your ball is going to go. So that's, uh, I think that's really important to have. Um, let's go through the bag now. Let's see, in here we have tees, pencils, uh, ball markers. Uh, as I said in my other video, one of the most important tools, pitch mark repair tool. Uh, just because again, it annoys me when I go to a nice golf course, uh, really nice greens, and you find that you've got a pitch mark in front of you and there's another six around them. And I think more people should have these in their bags. And these, this one comes with a ball marker, uh, summer shape, but I don't use that one. I use this one I got at Cruden Bay during one of the uh, tournaments with the international school up here in Aberdeen so uh, sort of my lucky charm I guess uh, pencils are very important keeping score uh, I keep also a pencil sharpener in case the lead breaks let's go into the ball pocket balls balls I play again same as in France uh, HX Tour and uh, Pro V1s, mostly secondhand leg balls, because um, I usually just play on my own with family or friends, so nothing really big. Um, I do have four tournaments, I do have another set of golf balls which are in here. To their made pentas, I always keep a set extra for tournaments. Uh, this one's been unopened for a while now, and uh, some people might say it's a waste of golf balls, but. I like having, you know, brand new golf balls when I play tournaments, just so um, I know they, they do what they're meant to do. Instead of finding their, you know, won't bite or they're a bit scuffed. There's the cat. Still getting used to his bell collar. So yeah, so this main pocket, obviously, waterproofs usually coats. Uh, I take the golf balls out when I go play. Uh, I don't carry that extra weight around. And here we have yardage books and golf tips I take these to the driving range always just to as good as you can get you can always improve um, I'm not saying I'm a great golfer I just find that you know you can always improve on your golf and tip cards are usually handy in case something goes wrong you can have a quick look at it and see oh I'm doing this wrong pocket referee hello count um, good for getting the rules of golf if you're playing games or something. People go, uh, well, what's supposed to happen here? How do I drop the ball? It's unplayable. Um, ball in a water hazard, lateral hazard. So, um, it's really good to keep around. And yardage books. This is my home course. Um, basically, I take my yardage books and I, and I doodle on them and I get extra yardages just because I like... I like to know where I'm going to be hitting shots. And I like to plan things out, especially if I'm doing little tournaments. Um, in here usually would be valuables, I'd put my phone wallet in there, uh, for hay fever, hay max, teas again, bag tags, and then around here would be usually drinks and usually my glove, but I don't have it there again, glove wise, as I said in my other video, I've got leather gloves, um, I think I'm playing with a Nike one, I play with a Nike glove, and I'm sure as you can tell, I'm a very sort of Nike kind of guy, uh, no reason in particular, actually, I just... I saw this set, I really liked it, and I thought I like things to match, so I got fitted for everything Nike, um, and just sort of, if I, if I get tailor-made next season, it'll probably be all tailor-made, so it's just personal choice. Um, I've got no thing, no, no grudges against any club, so any, no haters on this video, because uh, you will be blocked. So feel to, free to uh, subscribe, uh, rate, comment, like, dislike. Uh, whatever, and, and thank you for watching.